welcome to JCTV. In this edition, get a grip. We're going to talk about a, a few different grips today. The uh, first grip I'm going to talk about is what's called matched grip. And if you're a beginner, this is what I would recommend that you, you uh, use to start. There may come a time when you'll want to play another grip called traditional. We'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, for matched grip, we want to find the fulcrum point. So we're going to take the stick, figure over the center of the stick. We want to come down a couple inches and that would get, we put the thumb in line with the stick and we wrap our first finger on the opposite side of the thumb at the first knuckle, the first crease in that finger and the stick will rock back and forth there. That is our fulcrum point. Where when I drop the stick, the stick is going to get as many bounces as possible, okay? Which is probably going to be around here and so when I drop the stick, okay? Plenty of bounces so this is a good spot here and we get plenty of bounces if I go higher on the stick we don't get very many bounces I come to the bottom it's really bad so we don't want to hold the stick down here once we've got the fulcrum we're actually going to use our fingers to kind of control the stick okay um, you know, if, you're, if you watch a lot of uh, a lot of drummers, you're going to see all kinds of arm motion. A lot of that is really um, for aesthetic value and uh, looks a lot better to a camera. But realistically, when we play and we get we got our fulcrums set, we wrap our fingers around the stick lightly. We want we want our palms down, back of the hands are up, and right here I can stick my my tip of my stick right inside of here. If we call this maybe. Um, we'll call this the mouth. You want to, when we play the drums, you want to play the drums with your mouth open. If you do close this mouth, now it's too tight, and I'm going to play a drum roll with two closed mouths. Doesn't sound very good. We open up the mouth, and we have a nice, now we're nice and loose. Makes playing a roll a lot easier. Um, also, when I talked about the different bounces, when I come up, if I slide up and I'm not at the fulcrum point, listen to a drum roll. Come all the way to the bottom of the stick, if you hold it down here, listen to a drum roll. Get, find that, fulc that uh, fulcrum point and we get... Okay? Especially once we play faster. The faster we go, the more it's all about the fingers. A good, having the, a good fulcrum and the fingers are actually doing the work, like this. That's how we can play fast. You're only going to be able to play so fast if you then bring your wrist into doing a lot and then you start bringing your forearm in and then your actual shoulders and everything else. It makes great uh, videos if you're playing in, in, a, in a rock band. So we want to use uh, matched grip when we're, when we're playing, especially the snare drum. And, um, and this is also called the German grip. When we have our palms down and the back of our hands are up, this is called the German grip. Okay. Um, traditional grip, the second grip I'm going to talk about is basically um, if we take our left hand and we form an L and we drop our, drop our stick in there and we then bring, bring that through to our ring finger between our middle finger and our ring finger. Traditional pl playing, it's just the left hand that would you would use this grip, okay? And this is very common for jazz players. And jazz players like this. Jazz players are very comfortable with it. And once again, it, it is an aesthetic thing. Uh, jazz players, you know, feel it, it looks a lot better to be playing like this. But and jazz drummers also usually play with less drums. If a rock drummers, you normally see playing match grip because they've got a lot more drums to go around, and it's difficult when the left hand is upside down. The uh, another type of grip is uh, French grip. And with the French grip, we basically take our matched grip and we turn, up, turn our hands this way so our thumbs are up. You'll notice with my French grip, I still have my mouth open on both of them. I can put my stick right in there, okay? And my thumb is on, in line with the stick. The stick is an extension of the thumb, okay? World's longest thumb, okay? This is what, when I talk to my students, I call, if I, if I say, uh, is your thumb broken? They look down and they go, whoops, and they put it back in line, okay? because it's very common for drummers to have their thumb slip off and then you lose control of your fulcrum. You can't control the fulcrum that when your thumb is on the side. 
Uh, one other type of grip, if anyone mentions an American grip, basically, again, this is our German grip with the back of our hands up, palms down. French grip, we have our thumbs up, which we use for timpani playing um, or for our ride symbol over here. And somewhere in between is what we call an American grip. Okay? Um, basically, grip is a lot about what you're comfortable with. Um, so there are, there are different grips. You need to find out what works best for you. But if you're a beginner, my recommendation, go with matched grip, German grip with the back of your, back of your hands up, palms down. And uh, I think you'll find that is your, your best grip to get you started. Thank you very much. This has been a word from JC, and I look forward to uh, seeing you soon.